All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am back, finally. Which, um, nice to see a lot of you guys. Hello, everyone uh, who's already here. Hopefully, this is actually going to work. Um, as many of you know, my internet hasn't exactly been hasn't exactly been functioning. But anyway, I'm starting out with the new premium uh, Lorraine 40T here. Essentially, you know, tier 9 tank, now is a tier 8 premium. A few stats uh, change around on it. it. has a spiffy, unique camouflage that comes with it as well. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but anyway, as far as my internet, if for whatever reason there's problems here, um, which I am going to have to fix a couple of OBS things I can already see. Um, don't be surprised if some frames drop um, here or there. Essentially, short version of things as of what's going on now is they still need to replace um, the line that runs to my house under the ground. And also the main, like we have, a, everything's buried here. So we have these little... Uh, like four foot by four foot bo metal boxes every you know several houses in our neighborhood and that hub closest to my house actually needs replaced because it's faulty so my connection is not perfect but at the very least it should work here um, it's just not uh, guaranteed that's gonna be fixed within the next um, week apparently But anyway, hopefully it all works, but if for whatever reason you start seeing things start to get jittery or blurry, it is not you. It is definitely 100% Comcast. <laughs> Which, at the very least, I am very angry at them, but the technician today was actually very, very nice to, to deal with. Yeah, I actually really like this camouflage too. I decided to pick this up since I have the M4A1 Rev, but um, I really like this tank um, when it was tier 9, and it's not changed too much, it still has very high penetration, has a you know, slightly uh, lower alpha strike now, but it's a pretty damn uh, good tank for a tier 8 premium, at least statistically. It's still very large and can take a lot of damage, but I think it fits in pretty damn well at tier 8, honestly. Which, I haven't exactly played at all <laughs> since the last stream. You know, I couldn't even get on the internet yesterday. That was the frustrating part where the technician that came out yesterday, actually I went from having internet, just very poor upload speeds, but I couldn't do anything online except for live stream. Guy actually screwed it up so badly. Luckily, I got a new person today who knew a little bit more. I couldn't even watch TV, go on the internet yesterday, nothing. They just completely messed it up. But the reason I decided to pick this up is you have a high damage potential in this, very good penetration, and it's pretty mobile. All things considering, for a premium tank, you don't need a lot of premium rounds. Doing a lot of damage... Uh, basically the thing being situated all around its gun, you're going to be able to make quite a bit of credits with this thing. Plus it's a pretty good tr crew trainer for the bat chat. Hello uh, Darko. And 23 Uvez, Craze Missile, and <laughs> the rest of you guys, hello. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good considering uh, I actually have internet again, uh, Darko. The one thing is, it's pretty accurate, but at times you can struggle a little bit to hit some things. But yeah, I can play the T-34. But this is definitely not the easiest tank to play, considering its size and lack of armor. But being bumped down a tier helps it a little bit. Like, you're not going to get many bounces, but whereas as a tier 9, it was pretty much a sitting duck, you at least have a chance here to bounce some things. I am very, very, very concerned about my team not doing anything here at all. I 
if I can say so myself. I'm trying to get literally as far back as possible here. Only because it's going to suck them back. I have a Hellcat and Tiger P out there, but... Okay, at this point we're good. <laughs> it's just with those other two tanks, I was a little bit uh, skeptical, honestly, that we were definitely 100% going to win. But I like the odds of three against whatever it is here. <laughs> I'm going to look for this T25. There he is. He's actually very low on HP here. I probably should have guessed... Should have sat on the cap, but oh well. You don't like what, uh, the Lorraine? It's not, you know, it's not for, uh, anybody. Oh, the KV-2? <laughs> I got it. Holy shit, got an ace tanker the first match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, uh, not expecting that. Not expecting that at all. Hello, Orlando. Uh, right now, uh, my platoon's currently full, but uh, if you'd like to platoon in a little bit, hey, we did a very good job, uh, one, two, and three here. Um, if you want to platoon in a little bit, um, I will send you a request and uh, fit you in here. Hello, Uber. Nice to see you. But uh, <laughs> 100,000 profit, no premium rounds. Granted, that is a bit bit much damage to do. I would say you're going to shoot for around 2,000 damage in this for the autoloader that it has. But, um, yeah. Pretty damn good tank. I have... I didn't really hesitate even to pick it up because it looked, uh, pretty damn good statistically to... Alright, uh, let me just... I haven't streamed in a couple days here, so I'm kind of like, oh... I'm